get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. <laughs> no, 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 no. Me. 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 <laughs> What's good, Stella? Gang! It's your boy, Glass, and you are now tuned in to the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so, no, so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And remember, I bob my head to the beat, not because you spitting heat. So watch till the end and wait for the rating. Let's get straight into it, though. Alex Devo. Devo, uh, road trip, straight into it. See what you gotta say. Donovan Burke and the lovely desire. Yeah. Donovan, uh, could you tell us a little bit about what you do? I hear you you're a bank teller of sorts. I wouldn't exactly call it a bank teller, but if you send me a picture of your credit card and social security number, I can give me and you a very lump well sum of money. Mm. I like your, your fashion sense thingy. They're trying to be Try proper and shit. Tell us about your inspiration. I'm inspired by everything. I, you know, even, I'm not gonna hold you, even the bum. You feel me? Like, you gotta, you gotta give it to them. They got a little bit of a swag, a little edge on them. And I respect that. I try to, you know, take that and uh, combine it with some of the other inspirations that, I, that I'm accustomed to. Donovan, you have, you have trip, as they call it. Could you tell us a little bit about your style? Well, um, I, was, I, I don't know about any bums or anything, but uh, you know, my body different. You know, I'm real different. My body different. I've been four. I'm drifting. Tell dread. Lift them. We do our research here at on Clock and Thirty TV, and <laughs> we, we set up for that you were raised by the. Yeah, what kind of idiot intro this virgin? Man, have me a watch a news clip interview. What happened to some people, virgin? Yo, stop what saying. is this leading to? You raised by a stop sign, you know. It's not easy, you know, seeing your mother, she's a fucking stop sign, and she has the holes in her metal frame, so I can walk a while, and I have a metal frame, and holes in it, and everything. Well, I'm it's sure if you take a trip over to Desire's Hood, if you wish to call it that, they, they can fill you up with a bunch of holes there. Yes. And out here, you have a big brother called uh, Black. Yeah, <laughs> you know Black. <laughs> we do our research here on God 30 TV, so... Lord. Yeah, research. Every time we research, y'all do it. <laughs> well, all the information we need to tell the feds. Bruh, cut. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so. <clears throat> Big Black. Sorry. That is my brother. <laughs> they call me Lil Red. Mm -hmm. From where I'm from. Yep. I almost think his mom. But yeah, almost. I can see it. We don't want to about my mom. Well, that's is, is that a wig on his head or is that his fro? So this is your fro. We have another special guest coming up What is this shit, bro? What the fuck? This video makes me. This nigga in jail. Then he got he, he got a jail for you fit on. He got a suit on. The niggas got. The, pff, what the fuck? The video is so distracting because it makes no sense. Like it's like I'm kind of losing like my focus on what he's saying. I gotta focus on what he's saying.
What is the most difficult thing that you have been through that you want people to understand about you? Being a black man in a white man's world. I would say just being a black woman in America. I just feel like as a young African-American black woman, people don't let me express myself as an individual. They marginalize me. Honestly, I would say, you know, coming from where I come from, the main, the main thing is that I don't really have a voice. So what is the thing that you want the most? Oh, I just want to be heard. I just want to be heard. Overall, I just want to be heard. I just want my voice to be heard. And after Oh, oh, okay. What was, what is it, was this video supposed to be like some Black Lives Matter type shit? Or what, like, what, 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 what was the purpose? This shit's so confusing. You start off talking about scamming and then her br brother is supposed to be a street nigga. They from the hood and the niggas would put a hole in them and then he's saying all the information to give the feds. And this shit is just all over the place. What was the purpose of the video? I don't... Maybe I missed it because... I'm trying to listen to what he was saying, and it, just the video was just all over the place. Like I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm baffled right now. Like, why were they sitting there getting an interview? What did these two have to do with the rapper himself? His name is not Black, so. That can be her big brother that they was talking about. I don't get it, bro. This shit, this shit is, this, this wasn't, this wasn't like, y'all did not take your time with this. Or maybe I'm just missing something. If anybody understands this, could you explain it to me in the comment section? What the hell is going on in this video? As far as the song going, while I was listening to what he said, I give this shit like a six, man. I give that shit a six, because no funny shit. This ain't it. You feel me? I was actually thinking about a five, but I'm going to give him a six. You feel me? Because, yeah, his flow was correct. His, his delivery was correct. He just wasn't saying. And, and the, Man, this shit just got me confused, man. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if I rated too high or rated too low. It's your boy, I'm a class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video.